New at 11 tonight, the federal government has cut off student aid at Jacksonville's Florida Coastal School of Law, saying it hadn't met standards for financial responsibility. Our Haley Harrison is on your side tonight with more from the U.S. Department of Education and how the local school is responding. The agency rejected the school's request to reinstate a contract for federal student aid programs, which expired at the end of March. It has current students wondering, what now? The Department of Education's new chief of federal student aid said in a news release Thursday, Florida Coastal School of Law operated recklessly and irresponsibly, putting its students at financial risk rather than providing the opportunities they were seeking. This is not exactly what second year student Morgan Osborne thought her law school experience would be I like. I expected it to be hard, but then dealing with all of these unexpected issues outside of just regular school has, you know, brought on a lot of extra stress. She says there were also some issues with accreditation and Florida Florida Coastal students getting their loans during her first year. Um, I mean, it, it kind of impacts everyone's future in a very negative way, especially the people who haven't just started law school. They've already been through, you know, one or two years. Now we kind of have to figure out what we are going to do. Florida Coastal President and Dean Peter Gopplerud sent First Coast News a statement, which says in part, our students are our number one priority in this process, and we are doing all we can to ensure they receive the education they need to continue their path to becoming attorneys. Gopplerud also says the college sent to the American Bar Association a teach out plan, which is a plan providing for equitable treatment of students if the law school shuts down before they've completed their studies. Now, Florida Coastal has 10 days to appeal the Department of Education's decision, and the president tells us they intend to do so. In Jacksonville, I'm Healy Harrison, First Coast News, on your side. The city of